our Bible lesson for this evening is in the book of the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 61, 61, verse 1 to 3, 61, 1 to 3. And this is a text that Jesus used when he went to the synagogue and he applied that prophecy to himself and to our lives. And this is what Isaiah saw and prophesied. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for prisoners, for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve inside, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. And this is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this time together when we come as your church to worship and to start this new season. Help us to learn from you during this time. Talk to us and help us to understand your word and help us to understand what you expect from us during this season. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lent season started 40 days. 40 days because of Lent season. We have 40 days, but we don't count the Sundays. And, uh, and start from today, and we end on the Saturday before the Easter Sunday. It's a, it's a journey, and we need to understand that it is a journey. And if we don't get that, sometimes we miss that part, that we are in a journey toward Easter Sunday. So we start with, uh, with the Ash Wednesday, even though we don't use ashes, uh, but we start with this uh, service, and then we walk toward the Easter Sunday. And this text here is, is so beautiful because Isaiah was prophesying, what, 700 years before Jesus, and then Jesus came and said, this prophecy is about me. And this prophecy is to help us to understand the whole aspect of uh, Lent season. Because Lent season is a journey from the ashes to life. And we need to understand that, that this is where we're going. But uh, we start here. And, uh, and, and let me share with you because Isaiah help us on the steps for the for on this journey. The first thing that we learn is that if we started with the ashes. And, and, and this is very interesting because sometimes we, we don't understand what is going on with the ashes. The, the Israelites, the, 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 the Jewish people at the time of Jesus and the Old Testament, when they went through a bad situation or when they faced a, a sin and they, and they repent from their sins or, or when God brought judgment upon them and, and, and they realized and recognized that God was sad sometimes mad against them to punish them, punish them, they would change their clothes, put sackcloth, very poor clothes, and then they would take ashes and dust from the ground and then throw in the, their heads and uh, upon them it was a it was not just a little mark that they would make on the forefront. It was a shower of dust so everybody would be able to see them. 
person and say, wow, something is going on in that life. Something very, very radical is going on. A disaster happened. A big sin was revealed. A punishment from God came upon that family of that country and now they are dressing like that and they are throwing ashes and dust upon their heads and they would walk and they would cry. So Isaiah is, is telling us that yes, it start like that. It start as in ashes and, and that is the beginning of the journey that we take. It's something inside of us that we need to understand. And Isaiah gave us some words to, to help us to understand. They call the poor, the brokenhearted, the captive, those who mourn. So he's talking about people that are facing a bad situation. People that look at themselves and say, look, I am not worthy. I'm broken. I do not deserve the grace of God. I do not deserve mercy. I, I deserve what is going on in my life. And it's, uh, God is right. I am unjust. I am a sinner. So this time is when we look inside of us and, and we, we turn our eyes to our hearts, our soul. And we realize that, you know what? God is just, and I'm not. God is holy, and I'm not. God is pure, and I'm not. And that should bring each one of us to ashes. To ashes. This is why we, some of you will fast during this time, some of you will pray more during this time, some of you will read more of these scriptures during this time, some of you will attend more services during this time. Each one of us will have their own journey during that. But the journey starts, begins in the ashes. It's there where we started. But not only that, Isaiah helped us also to understand that when we start in the ashes, the next element of this journey is that we can we need to realize that we cannot do it by ourselves. And we need to look upon someone. I need, we need to put our eyes on someone else. And that person is Jesus, the anointed one. So the Lord has anointed me to preach, to do this, to do that. It is Jesus. This journey, we cannot take this journey by ourselves, alone. No. Sometimes we think that if I fast a lot, if I don't eat chocolate, or if I don't drink this kind of drink, if I don't do this, if I don't... And unfortunately, some people, they... They fast church. Yeah, they stop coming to church and they, they take a fast. Yeah, I'm going to fast. What, what are you going to do? I'm not going to church. That's my fast. It's, it doesn't work like that. The anointed one, Jesus, is the one that needs to go with us. He preached the good news. He bind the broken heart. He proclaimed freedom. He released and he proclaimed the year of the Lord. He brings comfort for those that are mourning. This is Jesus walking with us as we take this journey. We're not taking this journey by ourselves. Don't take this journey by yourself. Take with Jesus. You need to know that Jesus is walking with you. He is the anointed one. We cannot do anything by ourselves. And Jesus is the one that we walk this journey with us. Isaiah was prophesying about Jesus in this text. Jesus said, this, is, this prophecy is fulfilled. 
with me today when he preached that. So we need to understand that this journey from the ashes is with Jesus. He's the one that will help us during this whole time. When we look inside of ourselves and we try to find forgiveness, peace, dedication to the Lord, commitment, whatever you are going to seek during this season.
You have something good for you. Include church in that activity. Get involved, participate, attend church, pray more. Look to yourself. Know that you don't, you cannot do it by yourself. But Jesus is with you all the way. And our goal is Easter Sunday. Life. New life in Christ Jesus. Let us bow our heads and let us pray. <clears throat> Father, as we begin this season, we pray that the Spirit will help us to look inside of us, inside of ourselves, and see the ashes the needs, the struggles, the difficulties, the sins, things that need to be removed, things that need to be overcome, things that need to be forgiven. We pray that us, your Son will be with us during this, during this season, walking with us. Touching us, blessing us, teaching us, helping us as we walk those days. And don't let us, O Lord, take our eyes off the goal. Jesus.